everyone, how are you today? Uh, hope this Thursday morning is finding you well. Oh, ouch. That was a little warm. Alright, so, thank goodness it's Friday. <laughs> it's going to be a really good one for me, I can tell you that much. We're looking forward to an entire three-day weekend of relaxation, probably bad movies. I don't know. Might go grab some popcorn. Haven't had that in a while. Who knows? So, I don't know. You think the cards will bear that out for us? A good weekend full of rest and relaxation, pausing and reflecting. I don't know. Let's find out. Okay, so who is our guide for today? Looks like we got our sunstone. And our sunstone was used to find our true north. If, if anything, does that look to you a bit like a just a chunk of quartz? Anyway, it's what the uh, what the Viking sailors used for navigation. If it was a particularly overcast day and no sun in sight, they would use that to find the sun through the cloud cover. And that would help them determine their true north, as it's going to help us today. And, of course, it's going to be the same for this weekend. We also have a swan spirit for our spirit animal. So it's time to do a little bit of a deep dive. So finding true north, doing a deep dive. What exactly does that mean? <clears throat> I know swan spirits come up before, and it's one that I personally, I, I think that card is a uh, very, very beautiful card. So, let's see here. So, as you come to know yourself more intimately, so too will you come to better know others. So Swan Spirit asks you to go beyond the surface of what is happening between you and others and resist the temptation to judge by superficial appearances. Know that there is much deeper potential for loving connections, forgiveness, and mutual understanding. Choose to deep dive into your why. Asking the deeper questions of yourself, you are led by the grace of Swan Spirit. So you may think you know what's best for you now, but take that plunge into the depths of your awareness, because there is knowledge you're not aware of and great treasures to discover. Remember what we talked about yesterday? Kind of taking that, uh, taking that beginner approach and um, sort of relying on wisdom handed down. That was where the Othalarun came in yesterday. <clears throat> Something's telling me we now need to trust ourselves a little bit. So. Let's see what the cards have to say. We're going to do this a little bit longer than usual. So what does, this weekend, what does our body need? We have a three of coins. We have a two of cups. We have a ten of wands. Honestly, I'm kind of liking how this is turning out. Now, three of coins, obviously, that is a that's a that's a card that calls us to kind of work with others that uh, take on like sort of a bit of an apprenticeship and um, you know get a little creative. So, are we looking at creativity this weekend? I mean, we've got we've got earth, water, we got uh, earth, air, uh, water, and fire here as elements for the body. Then of course, I go by 
like a little bit. Oh wait, I'm looking at the wrong thing here. Duh. Uh. Okay. So it looks like we're being called upon to create with our family. Get a little cooperative. Because this Ten of Wands is showing us family and abundance and all that other good stuff. Well, I can definitely see coming together a lot in this. I see the family in here. So, definitely time to spend with the family. Maybe not so much getting to know yourself, but getting to know your family through yourself. Why it's there. That's the big question. Why is it all there? And you're about to find some answers. Want to know my opinion? I think your family's there to keep you honest, to keep you upright, to keep you as a good person, to guide you. Sometimes family seems a little bit like a burden, and whether that's a biological family or an adopted family, sometimes you kind of need them. Okay, so rely on them. That's definitely what your body needs. And what your mind needs is going to be this Two of Swords, the world, and everything in it should go, and a Knight of Coins. I would say that Two of Swords looks a little bound up, but I don't think so, because that looks a little more like a hand fasting there. With the Two of Swords, you're going to experience a little duality there. I think it's going to be like you and your partner, you and your significant other. While the world, there's a lot of accomplishment, a lot of abundance, a lot of achievement in this so far. And the world is just that. It's just achievement. So you're going to have to work together with family, obviously, again. But then there's that Knight of Coins. And that Knight of Coins is, of course, there's some uh, hard work and duty involved. So, so far, it's all been pointing to family. Finding out the why. Figuring it all out getting to know yourself through your family. Yesterday with that, I wouldn't be surprised if that Othala room pops up again today. But your spirit is going to need the Hermit, a Four of Wands, and a Five of Wands. A lot of fire in here. Hope you're not uh, burning your candle at both ends. That wouldn't be, that wouldn't be so... Uh, it wouldn't help you that much, really. Now, with the Hermit, you're going to have to use a little wisdom. Okay? This isn't... I'm not looking at this as a time to kind of retreat into yourself. You're kind of retreating from the rest of the world with this one. You're finding refuge in your family. And with the with the last two cards being or with the last two cards being one suits, that's a kind of a tell there. Because you are going to have stability, uh, happiness, and of course, uh, uh, there's also a lot of completion with primarily with these three cards. A lot of coming together with these cards. There's some duty there. But that Five of Wands is going to be some chaos. There's still some completion even in here. But with here, you're, you're not experiencing so much loss. You're experiencing um, sort of that, uh, that completion there. But at the same time, there's going to be some chaos. You're going to have to work through that. And that, uh, that might be with the kids, I think. <laughs> kids are driving force of chaos, are they not? Could even be with pets. Your pets could even be doing that to you. Nothing to be ashamed of, it just it, it happens. But I'm not seeing the hardship and loss here. I'm, I'm just seeing priorities. You will have to let go of some things. 
and through your family you'll be able to let go of those things. I'm thinking this is something with that uh, two of cups, I think it's pointing at that. This is something that you need to let go that's emotional and uh, maybe just kind of take refuge from all that crap that's been going on. You know, spend a little time with the family getting to know them. So, with the tarot out of the way, we're going to go to the White Light Oracle and find out what's going on here. So, what do we need for the body? We got the Alabaster Tablet of Layla. We have Garuda Saparna. And we have Anapalsis. I really don't know these cards all that well, but I do know Anapalsis and Anapalsis. It, like the f there are four letters of the word pause in there and that's how I remembered what this was this is you need to take a pause so whatever the things you've been working on all the work 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 all work and no play makes Jack or Jill a dull person right so definitely take a pause for your month for your spirit now as far as the the tablet goes what is that prompting us to do this is for our body, so we really want to pay attention to this one. <clears throat> there we go. Let's see. I think we're getting there. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So you are remembering at a soul level. You're tapping into greater awareness and an understanding of your highest life. Uh, purpose or your highest life purpose shall become even clearer to you. This may evoke unsettling change within you, but that change is necessary for you, a new way to manifest. You are protected and guided at all times, especially when you feel uncertain about your course. You are truly loved. <clears throat> so, the angel Layla heralds from Talmudic scriptures. Unlike any other, she is specifically described as a feminine being. Layla is a reminder that there is a place only the feminine can fill. If we attempt to live our lives skewed toward the masculine, we will miss out. There's great value in masculine tendencies toward exploration, adventure, progress, and development. However, feminine tendencies toward compassion, acceptance, and kindness, and mercy are a balancing necessity. For humanity to survive, these dual wisdoms need to find balance and integrate into mature expression in every human heart. So, I've noticed something, though. So, if you've been kind of overdoing it one way or the other, this is where you're called upon to kind of rely on that, that, that other side of that dual nature and just kind of balance it out. It doesn't mean you have to completely tip the scales in favor of the other. It just means instead of you've been kind of living like this, you kind of need to just live a little like this. Believe one thing, I'm a Libra. And if it's one thing Libras do, it's balance. We try to do that as best we can. So, I've also noticed that in two other places. Number one, this Two of Swords, and number, number two, this Two of Cups. So these two do represent duality. This Hermit also, so if you've been working too hard, it's time to rest. If you've been resting a little too much, it's time to get a little active. See what I'm saying? Balance that out. If you've been eating unhealthy, maybe eat a little healthier. But for the body, since since this is about the body with this position, I'm definitely thinking if you've been eating a little too unhealthy, eat a little healthier. If you've been eating way too, you know, you've been eating healthy, healthy, healthy all the time, maybe it's time for a cheat day. You know what I mean? Maybe a cheat weekend, a couple days. It doesn't have to be anything spectacular. Now, the Garuda Saparna. I do love it when birds show up. Can you tell? <laughs> so let's go back a little bit and find out what Garuda Saparna is. That is not what I needed. Okay. I am just all over the place these days. I gotta say, in the meantime, I do love. Um, Elena Fairchild's Oracle decks, they are absolutely beautiful. No matter what, no matter who she gets as the artist. So cultivate confidence in yourself. You have inner spiritual power to deal wisely and effectively with any situation. Don't allow anyone to take advantage of your kind nature. Reflect upon what action feels best for you to take, then follow through with decisiveness. 
Do not allow negativity to get a grip in your life. Positive energy and outcomes are indicated. And this is a uh, this is the mystical king of the birds here. It's a mighty eagle-like divine creature celebrated in spiritual traditions of the East. In Sanskrit, Suparna means to have powerful wings and fly well. That has spiritual significance as Garuda can cover great distances and reach tremendous heights. So the eagle seeks higher sanctuary where negatives can be dealt with before they can cause further problems. And another Sanskrit word for Garuda is Vishari, which essentially means conqueror of poisons. Garuda Suparna, a Suparna augurs a time where you will need to rise above the pettiness of ego and ensure you nip negatives in the bud, lest they become powerful enough to cause havoc in your heart. You don't need to become ensnared within the drama of ego. Okay. And even Brian on uh, FixedAirMoon.com has talked a lot about ego. We do need our ego. But it's not good to become so wrapped up in it that you believe your own hype. Feel me? Here's another thing. Uh, Garuda fights on the side of light and is a bringer of powerful protection and hope. So we got protection again. And is a symbol of rebirth. He's a capable warrior. His dark side can be seen in that he is merciless. So remember that balance thing we talked about? Beautiful bird, can fly to great heights, can accomplish great things. Don't piss him off. And then, of course, anaposis. So we've talked about that. That's taking that little, uh, that little respite, that pause that you probably need. Like I said, if you've been working too much, now's a good time to rest. Figure out where you can. Don't plan it too much because you really don't want to completely plan everything out, right? Where's the fun in that? So don't give up, but allow your heart to disengage from your struggles. Give yourself some much needed rest. You're in a phase of recovery. If you've been off your path, you are going to come back strong. You will regain your spark of passion, inspiration, and devotion. A certain order of events needs to take place for your soul path to come to fruition. Commit yourself to your sacred journey, trusting the right thing will happen at the right time. So that's the Greek word anaposis, which refers to a cessation of work so one can regain strength, renew vitality, and heighten creativity and productivity. It's a rest for success. This oracle recommends finding some spiritual rest, so that's great because it's right there in the spirit, the spirit row. Uh, da, 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 da. When we take sanctuary in the sacred, we give up trying to become something or other or instead tend to uh, tend fully to the task at hand, completely engaged in the moment. When we do so, we are trusting that the universe knows what it is doing and we are part of a greater unfolding plan. So in our modern culture, uh, we aspire to become someone, someone visible, someone influential, someone powerful, someone important, but no matter how much worldly or spiritual power a person may appear to have, the idea that one person is more important than another belongs to the realm of the ego. There's that ego again. Spirit loves and respects all beings equally. We don't need to be putting each other through guilt, shame, drama, or anything like that. If you really want to truly be inclusive, you accept others for who they are, as they are, treat them like a human being, that's it. Treat them like you would treat anyone else and you treat everyone as you'd want to be treated. Not hard. Not hard at all. Can be, but it doesn't have to be. So finally, what secrets does the Sunstone have for us? What whispers will give us those abilities? and bring this whole thing into finer focus. Well, we've got Mercano, and right there in that body, healing, bang. We've got Thulisaz, so right there in the mind, a little power there. And we've got Elhas, or Algiz, right there in the spirit, protection. 
you know, this whole thing is reminding me of something. And uh, no, I'm not kidding. And laugh if, you, if you'd like. That's fine. I'm remembering the lines, I am only human, I am no machine. I need a little love, yeah, you know what I mean. Don't misunderstand me. I'm not getting soft. All I want is a couple days off. I'm showing my age. I actually kind of like that song. <laughs> sorry. Not sorry at all. No, Reese's. I will not apologize for liking Huey Lewis. Well, we got we got Birkin out in the, in the body uh, category there. We've got uh, Thurisaz. Thurisaz is like the um, that that's it. It just don't get drawn into any unnecessary drama, and that's right there in that mind spot. Um, there are, of course, sides to every story. There's that balance again. So this is about don't get into the drama. Seek that balance. Okay. So choose the positive flow of enthusiasm, fecundity, and passion rather than aggression, small mindedness, and force the colossal, you know, Alaska or Texas sized ego, if you will. And of course, Elhaz, which is protection. Remember that Thurisaz, this, I'm looking at this one's like loud as hell to me because. Your balance is where you're going to find everything you need. That's where you're going to find your true north, ladies and gentlemen. Like I said, if you've been leaning too far one way, it's time to lean to the other side. Just a little bit. Just to see how the other half live. And why. Understand. You know, I spend, I spend my time around a lot of different people. People on two different spectrums. Politics, uh, pretty much uh, every color every orientation every spirituality why because I like to know I like to learn it's just how I am I like balance I don't like it when things go too far one way or too far the other I like to be right there kind of in the middle not in the middle of drama save that Save the drama for your mama. That's the way I go. So, I think that's a, I think that's probably about the best summary. It's a lot of cards, but it says so very little, but says that little so very powerfully and emphatically. So remember, this weekend, I'm thinking spend a little time with your family. Um, if you do go to church, go to church. If you just kind of set a set at least one day for a little spiritual meditation and I don't care if that's going down by the creek sitting on the edge of the water and just watching it flow going somewhere where there's a spillover and watching the water spill over those can be in those can be very very interesting things to watch and you've seen it right there at the very first of this video because I use the same intro it's an intro I personally filmed, and I went there because I filmed that because I thought, how do you account for the most relaxing, natural sight on the planet? And then right at the end of this video, after I, you know, do my little show, boom, 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 you know, I do that, there's an even bigger one. Again, one I filmed myself. These are things you could find. And let me tell you something, if you feel like it, just like tune into the start or beginning of this video and just watch those little bits on repeat. If it helps, if you can get yourself one of those little uh, one of those little fountains, you know the type. You fill a little basin with water, you plug it in, and it just cycles the water. Get one of those for your desk. That might be that might be a little uh, helpful, you know, a little relaxing. Whatever it is, if you've been going too hard this way it's time to kind of come back a little bit you don't you don't have to go this way you just have to kind of sit there in the middle for a little while spend a little too much time with family go out on your own spend no time at all with your family you might want to spend some time with them there are a whole lot of people losing a whole lot of family members these days and very suddenly okay 
That's really all I have for today. Thank you for sharing your time with me. Thank you for showing up and having a cup of tea with me. Mm, that's good stuff. I hope this reading resonated with you. I hope you were relaxed during it. Take care. I love you. And as always, shine on. cleaning up, these little chips fell off of one of my pieces of black tourmaline into my hand. Looks like I haven't really been taking care of these things. So, time for a little cleansing, shall we? I could put them up on the windowsill, but uh, I think the friend of Freya, Mr. Bub, would uh, try to bat them around. He's been batting them around lately. He'll knock them off the uh, <clears throat> off the crystal grid and just start playing with them as though they're toys. Despite my repeated attempts to tell him they're not toys. So, hang tight just a second. I'm going to place you right here. There you go. And we're just gonna. Uh, there we go. Let that absorb some of that negativity. So, there we go. Sitting in the sea salt just for a day. And these are going to be returned to the earth itself. That was really all I had. We just don't want him in on it, do we? Yeah, no more batting those around, bud. No more. Hmm? Yeah, make kitty face. <laughs> That's my bud. Alright, take care.